Welcome to listen to this quality assurance tools presentation. My name is Atta Pilhava. I'm a product line director for the QA tools here in the QT company. And today's topic is to, to talk about how the test automation can improve uh, customer satisfaction and uh, how what kind of benefits we can create for you and, and how we accelerate, accelerate time to the market. So uh, we will go through today first what is actually manual testing and, and what is automated testing and, and then the benefits, like I mentioned, what is the benefits for using automated testing. And then we talk about what kind of benefits uh, uh, we're going to have and, and uh, uh, with our tools and services for you and for your for your customers. All right, uh, what's manual testing actually? Manual testing is is that the tester is doing that, that testing work and, and uh, without using any kind of tool. So in that case, uh, the tester has that competence to do that testing and, and uh, think about what kind of test, test is needed. And, and of course, it depends on the on the tester experience, what kind of testing, how, what is the coverage of the testing. In, in that case, we, we're going to achieve, we're going to get. And of course, this needs some technical skills to understand this, that, that what has to be tested. tested and and, uh, and uh, of course, when you, your, your application is, is, is growing, then you have to test more and more. So, so um, you have to also think about which, when you need it to do some kind of automated testing using tools as, as well. Then uh, when you think about automated testing, you should then 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 uh, the automated testing means that that you you will do some some effort autom auto automatically. The, 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 uh, in that case, you will do uh, some uh, scripting or coding work, and then uh, the the computer or uh, that application do the testing behalf of the tester. Of course, nowadays there's capability also do the recording. So you will do, for example, simple locking to the to the to the system or application. And then you can repeat that automatically, so so uh, that's get, that that can also be recorded. Actually, what's happening? That tool usually do uh, do the scripts based on the, your actions, and and uh, and that that's why it's re repeatable. And uh, of course, this automated testing process needed to have different kind of resources than uh, manual testing, because then you have to create those tests in the tool or scripting those. And and uh, it might be different competence than, than doing actual manual testing. Uh, then when we think about the, the benefits of the automated testing, the today market trend is, is, is shift left. And, and that would mean that, that uh, the, the companies and, uh, and uh, organizations, they would like to do uh, testing earlier. And of course, it's also because of the saving. If you find bugs in the later uh, phase, the customer will uh, get the, the, the bad customer experience. But, but also it's it's very costful for you. So so it's huge market trend today shift left and, and try to do the testing already in the coding or unit testing phase. And uh, it's almost impossible to do the, the shift left without automated tools. So if you've tried to do the manual testing and, and shift left, it's almost impossible because you have to increase your resources uh, all the time so much. But uh, uh, at the end of the day, automated testing will uh, give you uh, much, much more benefit when you have the, 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 the testing coverage is, is high and, and uh, you do the testing itself all the time the same way. Then when you decided to switch to the or, or think about automated testing, there's a couple of points to think about. Of course, uh, there's uh, think the, the, the the, the automated testing, you can do run testing middle of the night when you, your workers are not in the, in the, in the office. And uh, of course, the, the test coverage is usually higher. And, and, uh, and uh, because of that, you, you also uh, found uh, or maybe found more de defects in earlier phase. 
then uh, the benefit of course is that you can run multiple test multiple testing at the same time so you don't have to wait that the, the tester will do one test and then then do the the other one you can do uh, the the same kind of testing and of course you can you can uh, record test cases so uh, even if you don't want it to go it you can record do some um, some um, Ex, uh, some path, for example, locking to the system, and and you can record that easily. And like I mentioned already, it's almost impossible to 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 repeat and do do regression or performance test without having automate automation tool or shift left without having automation tool because of the uh, amount of the work is increasing so much. Concern is, is that okay? Somebody has to do code it or record it, and and that's also mean maybe different kind of uh, competencies what you used to have. Automated test cannot take the human factors in account, so 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 user experience feedback is very challenged for the for the automated testing. And uh, of course, in the automated testing, uh, the, the testing generation and maintenance those test test cases is is uh, is uh, needed to to or, or use your resources a, a bit more. So you have to also maintain the test cases. If you change the code on application, you have to somehow also maintain the test cases in the in the test automation system. But uh, what is actually benefit for for uh, for this uh, automated testing is 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 here. So if you think about that, you will start to do manual testing, and then you, your application test cases are increasing, and during the time they are increasing all the time because you are doing the manual test, and you needed to have more manual test resources. Then if you think about automated testing as, as a very initial. Uh, as a very beginning, there is a cost of the testing is is a little bit higher because you have to create those scripts, scripts and then code it those in the system, the tool, the, the QA tool. But then after that, when you have done the, this, of course you have to maintain and create new tasks, but you can repeat the existing uh, test cases automatically, and do it, for example, in the middle of the night. So that would mean that your actually cost and, and resources what you need is is, is uh, lower than with the manual testing. And of course, like I mentioned already, uh, the, the test coverage is, is is higher. You are able to 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 to, uh, to increase your test coverage with the automated test test tool as well. But this is the, the pure benefit. And if you think about that, uh, almost one one one. 30% of the development cost usually comes from the testing of the devices. This automated test helping you to, to, to reduce development costs as a total. So it's it's big, big benefit for you. Uh, then when we think about the, the impacts and, and financial impact and benefits using uh, QA tools and test automation and, and our services, if you think about it, start with the left, of course, uh, higher turnover for you. Uh, with test automate, the test automation, we can accelerate, accelerate release cycles. So you can uh, release faster. And uh, of course, if you release faster, you, you will, uh, ha you, you will uh, you're able to launch new functionality for your customers. And that usually means higher higher market share as well. So so if you develop faster than your competitors, you are able to gain market share as well. Then the second bullet is is lower total cost. Like I mentioned, that uh, it could be up to thirty percent uh, development cost coming from test automation. And uh, as we as I I told you already that that. Uh, with automated test, you you can uh, reduce the cost, uh, but also addition to this this cost reduction, you can also eliminate errors from the manual testing because uh, the, the, the tester is doing this this manual testing, so it might be that there's uh, there's also errors, but with the automated testing, you 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 can you can eliminate those human errors, 
and of and you can get, you can uh, actually drive higher automated rate for the uh, for, for for the test coverage and and to do that you, you you can reduce the cost then there is a decrease uh, need for the modernization investment so so with uh, if you do the testing uh, very well that would mean your your application or your customer does not need to to do the reinvestment for the, for the modernization so so uh, it's also uh, give benefit for your customers <laughs> sorry your customers that that uh, uh, is your application is, is is longer lifetime than competitors because you have done proper testing uh, in all phases and then uh, the fourth one when we're talking about lower risk uh, we can improve software quality of course and your applications depends on the, on the application but less there's less downtime if it tested well then two very important thing last one but not least ones uh, this reduce your risk to uh, to to lost your customers uh, because of the uh, bad customer uh, experience so so if you make sure that your application is up and running and, and your customer experience is high you minimize actually risk to reduce uh, to, to 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 reduce risk for lost your customers so this is super important and, and the, that that your your applications what you are selling to your customers uh, the application is always uh, tested and and uh, in a way that you are not losing the cost existing customers then for you as a company you if you do test automated you reduce also risk to lose competence because then the the testing is scripted and, and coded in the tool so uh in that case that the, that the, you're losing your resources you still have these scripts in in your on, on the house in the house and you are not losing that competence so it's it's reduced risk also for you uh, to to have competence in 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 your house. So these four things for for using why we should use automated test and, and our services. Then uh, if you think about uh, uh, QT companies offering for the quality assurance tool uh, in the middle. We have test center, which is centralized uh, and uh, storage for the for the all tested system. There, uh, you can also uh, you can also have results from the manual testing there. So you can start in a way that first take the test center in use and and do the manual testing, and you can have all uh, test test results there, and you can analyze and you can find. If there's some issues already early phase and then uh, you will start to do automated testing with the squiz we also have uh, coco uh, application or to kit or tool which is uh, code coverage so so with that you can you can see that how how much you have actually executed the the, the code and and uh, the, the what is the coverage of your test test what is your test coverage uh, if it's close to 100 percent then you're you're really good and of course it's almost impossible to aim 100 test coverage but with that you can measure how what is your test coverage as a overall and uh, if it's slow then you can react and and like like i mentioned already with the automated tool you can improve this uh, test uh, coverage easily uh, then in the QA company, we also have Oxivian Suite available, which uh, aim is to stop uh, software erosion. Uh, there's going to be separate session and separate uh, presentation on that. So uh, all you need uh, for the QA quality assurance side, we, we have it. Thank you.